Hi, I'm Jay French from jfrenchstudios.com. I'm going to show you how to draw medieval weapons. Now, we're going to start, of course, with a sword. And a good way to start with a sword is with a straight edge. You don't have to, but it's a good thing to have at least a few straight edge lines underneath to give you a guide. Okay, so, once we have where the center point is, good thing to remember about swords is that the handle is much narrower than the blade. Unless you're talking a rapier, where it may be about the same size. A pommel is a very important element, which is the very end of the sword opposite the point. <laughs> it's a very important element, actually, because it gives balance to the sword. So you want something solid. The bigger the sword, and we're going to do a nice, good medieval greatsword here, then uh, the bigger you want the pommel to be, the, the weightier you want it to be. So, it's good to have uh, some symbology to your medieval weaponry. Hand guards are broader, again, on bigger swords. You'll notice that they're smaller like on shorter swords, like Roman swords. We're just going to give this one a basic straight cross guard. Now, you've got your straight line for your blade, but maybe you don't want a straight blade, so at that point, what you might do is just follow at the same time on each side. We wanted it to come out here and then maybe get broader again and then have a nice curved tip. But because you had your center line, you knew what to follow. So there's your basic on a sword. Your handle can be wrapped leather, just do a zigzag. It's a good, easy way to cover that. Put a little shading on it, make it darker than the rest. Now let's say you want a dwarven battle axe. You don't have to worry as much about your straight edge there because it's not as long. Generally, the handle goes inside of a thick metal chunk at the center, which again is your weight that is put behind the force of an axe blow. Get some nice shine in there. A few just diagonal lines darkest away from the light source, or a good way to get that effect. Often a medieval axe, especially a fantasy axe, will have a nice big spike on this end, and perhaps an armor-piercing point on the opposite side. A good way to make something look nice and used is to wrap some leather straps crisscrossing around it. Make sure you show them wrapping here, and then have them tie off. Show the straps going. And then we can have a leather wrapped. If you make those these angles slightly curved, it gives them a little more depth. And that's a basic first lesson in how to draw medieval weapons.